I recently got diagnosed with him syndrome. It's when you are him. Him syndrome is not contagious, thankfully. It's not genetic. It's a very unfortunate, rare condition. Very rare. The rarest of the conditions. Like it, it, it like it. If if you could pawn this off in like a pawn shop, it would probably cost you about like two thousand million billion dollars. It's a lot. If him syndrome was a shiny Pokemon, it would be like a, I don't know, like a like a shiny Rattata or something. Super super rare. Like it's stupid rare. It's dumb rare. It's fucking idiotic rare. And f unfortunately, I I've been diagnosed with it. Um, now I I want to I want to make this video without me crying or without you crying either but the sad truth is is that you will never be him only I can be him you know it 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 doesn't have this this syndrome it this this condition doesn't have a lot of uh, studies on it in the medical world this is I mean it's, it's, it's like a myth it's like a legend it's like the the myth of the freaking uh, dad who came back after getting a, 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 a jug of milk so scientists don't know what this is because it's such a such a, a myth okay but there has been cases throughout the past couple of millennia that make people believe holy shit this is a real thing and i'm here to tell you this is a real thing i am him okay and now you're asking yourself for those who don't know those who not that you're closed-minded not that you're in the closet it's just those people who sort of gave up on the hope that maybe they could be him okay and this could be for man or woman. It, it really doesn't matter. You could be a woman and you could be him. Or, or, or as we, you know, if we meet people, the people who have been diagnosed with him syndrome. You could be her if you're a woman or you could be him. Or you could be them even. I've, you know, but for those of you who don't know what him syndrome is, it's, it's, let me give you a scenario, okay? You know how when... You know how when you are the thing and when the how, the what, the there, when they won't, when you, you know when it's breakfast time, okay? And your poor mother, your poor father, little sister, older sister is trying to crack an egg, but they can't because the egg is too hard for them. That's when you come in. That's when that guy comes in. That's me. I'm that guy. I'm like, hand it over. And over the egg, little sis, I take it and I smash it over her head and I, and I pour its contents into it. Did anyone see that? I pour its contents into a bowl and start stirring it. Not with a fork, but with my mind. I'm controlling this with my fucking mind right now. That's him syndrome. That's when you walk in a room and you're like, guys, I got this. I'm that guy. Okay, you walk in a gas station, okay? You go to a fast food restaurant and you're in your family needs more ketchup, but they're all too scared to go up to the to the nice McDonald's employee to ask for ketchup. That's that's when you go. I'm that guy. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh uh never mind, I'm sorry. Or when you're in the grocery store and one of the old ladies uh, has to reach a, a can of Goya beans up top on the top shelf. That's, that's, the, you're that, that, when you have him syndrome, this is what you do. You go up to that old lady and you're like, oh man, did you need that? And then she goes, oh, yes, sonny, please. And then that's where you go, well, thanks for taking away all my fucking social security money. Bam! Because you're just that guy. You are him, okay? When people need Things done. Yeah. 
That's another symptom of him syndrome when you, when you crack your knuckles and every single one of them just like cracks. Okay, when people need knuckles crack, when people need crack, you are that guy, you are him. You understand? People with him syndrome, they may come off as this arrogant, cocky. But the thing is, when you have him syndrome, it's it's kind of like it's kind of like uh, people who have bad anxiety. You know, they can't control the anxiety. People with him syndrome, they can't control the the arrogance. You understand? But not that they are arrogant. You know what I mean? Just something that you know they just exude that confidence. They they stink like onions. <clears throat> So there, there've only been a couple of people in the history of the world who have him syndrome, you know, just so you could kind of put my my position in a context, you understand, to to the people who who have him syndrome. Okay? So for example, we got um Gohan from Dragon Ball Z, okay? We have uh that one US president, okay? We have um that one little girl, okay? Who was the first her in history? Um, let's see. Uh, uh, Saul Goodman from Better Call Saul Breaking Bad. Okay. S no, I already said Saul Goodman. Um, the sexy lady. Kim Wexler um, from Breaking Bad. She's she's a her. Okay. She was actually the first her. Forget the, uh, the other little girl. There's only been four that I can count so far. Okay. Um, the... Um, uh, the, the one guy, the one guy, the one guy, come on, we all knew him uh, back in college, he used to fucking chug a, a whole sh can of beer upside down, while the, the, the fuck was his name, man, I, that guy, he's a him guy, okay, uh, and there's one more, uh, there's three more, actually, um, and one of them, actually, is Carl, from Aqua Teen Hunger Force, uh, I'll put up a picture right now on the screen, in case, in case you you want to know what a person with him syndrome looks like, okay? So, uh, any any anyone just on the street who looks like Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force, that's someone with him syndrome. And again, I did say it was a rare condition, but it's only rare for because people don't get diagnosed with it. You understand? It? Some people have it, but they just don't know. You know what I mean? So you don't know what you know. Now my no knows. My go goes. Right, what's up, this then? Who the fuck is this guy? <gasps> it's the marshmallow man! When he finds a victim, he. He zaps them with a marshmallow bean and forces them to eat mushrooms, uh, marshmallows, forever! Oh, fuck. <laughs> It would appear that I am a talked in talkito. Where's the dipping sauce at? Okay, this isn't fun anymore. All right. Did you do this? Huh? Did you tuck me in like a taquito? Huh? You put me to bed like some sick baby? Huh? Don't look at me like that. I swear to God. Levi, go get your girl, dog. Listen, when I get out of this stray jacket, it's on sight. You understand? I'm going to give you a fucking swirly. I'm going to give you a swirly in a vat of fucking chocolate pudding. I bet you'd like that, huh? Yellow titty. Stupid bitch! I can't fucking move. Jesus Christ. Is that to you get your sick kicks, huh? Is what they teach you in, 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 in stupid kitty school? Huh? They all they do is teach you how to say hello and tuck people in like like cute little taquitos, huh? Okay. I'm I'm sorry if I was a little aggressive, okay? I uh 
I, I, I just woke up feeling weird, all right? I had a weird dream, okay? Not to mention, I, I, I ate a lot of sugar before bed. I get a little mysterious and unwise when that happens, okay? I'm sorry. You forgive me? Hello Kitty? You forgive me? Come on. You're Hello Kitty. You're three apples tall and uh, you're known for never telling a lie and having wooden teeth. Huh? Come on. I know you don't have a mouth, but that doesn't mean that you're not you're not you're 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 not a liar. You're not not a liar. You don't have a mouth, Hello Kitty, so I don't know what I'm trying to say here, okay? Please, uh, listen, I know you know more than making friends and baking pies and singing songs, even though you don't have a mouth. You're good at tucking me in. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's so cozy. Ooh! I can't, do you think you can undo this, please? Because I have things to do today. Ooh! My breath smells really bad. I gotta brush my teeth, huh? Come on, Hello Kitty. You're known for good dental hygiene, uh, and your wooden teeth. Come on, be a pal. <laughs> Listen, Hello Kitty. I'm gonna tell you a secret. That guy right there, he has a crush on you. He wants to make a cupcake with you, Hello Kitty. If you know what I mean. <laughs> He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna call you, hello, hello, baby. <laughs> oh, stupid. I don't know what you want. I don't know what you want, but, um, maybe, maybe you've heard me talk about weird things, you know, like killing you and your friends. <laughs> it, it's just a joke. It's just a, it's just a running joke that me and the, me and my dog have. <laughs> Cause you know, he's like, he's a dog. He chews stuffed animals, you know? <laughs> I know you can speak. I know you can speak. I know. I know. I know. I know. Listen, Yellow Kitty. Uh, uh, Hello Kitty. You may not believe it, <laughs> but I, 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 I know a thing or two about this world, you know? I know certain inanimate objects carry certain essences of 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 people <laughs> and it's because of these powers it, it allows them to have an effect on people okay and one 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 of the powers that i just happened to know is the power of uh of speaking <laughs> it's a privilege you know so you could you you, you you could you could use your voice around me. It's okay. I I know you can speak. <laughs> you think you're the first plushie that I've had this conversation with, huh? I know you can speak. So answer me. Can you untalk me? Okay. I don't like to be a taquito right now. If I wanted to be wrapped up like a cute little taquito, I would have told you. Answer me. I gotta be dreaming. Oh, maybe I'm sleeping. Oh, maybe I'm finally sleeping for more than two fucking hours. Oh, okay. <sighs> nope. I'm not fucking sleeping. <laughs> oh, shit. It looks so nice out. It looks so nice out. I wish I could open doors. Hello Kitty, when I get the chance, we should, uh, we should break bread together, you know, break bread and, and, and pick fruits together, have tea together, me, you, and Levi, yeah, I think that'd be nice, how about it, huh, would you like that, you can invite all the friends that, that you want, you know, uh, and 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 I'll I'll tell Milo to to back off, okay? I'll I'll send him away. <laughs> I'll go tell him to go find a, a BMW driver that isn't an asshole, <laughs> okay? He'll be gone a while, years.
Maybe, I don't, I don't know. How about it, huh? Could you be a friend now and untuck me, please? Well, why didn't you just say so? Ah! Oh, sorry, Levi. Oh, hell, Kitty. This is my good friend, Levi Ackerman. I'm going to leave you two here together while I brush my teeth. And I'll, I'll, I'll set us up some, some boiling water for some tea. Okay? Don't wait up for me, guys. <laughs>